so much more, but I never asked. So I just walked into the Swami. Some guy said, don't even go in there. Because there's half of the uh, stands are not even there, but this looks like it's full. I don't know what he's talking about. I don't know what he was looking for. I'm looking for business. I'm looking for money. Let's see what we find. What is this? Newport. Oh, it's like one of those biting blocks. Could be worth something. Get strong teeth. You're annoying <laughs> <laughs> uh, Can I have it if you don't want it? Little hermit shell for camera. Might be about 15 bucks. I'll take it. This is a, this table right here is just two dollars though. So be okay. What do you think about all this jaw stuff, Ralph? I don't, I don't like it. It's one of those things where I use it. It's like, yeah. And I wonder if they protect that. You know, they're getting pulled, huh? Different brand? Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to end up leaving both of these because if you see multiple brands of the similar thing that my brother was just saying, it's because it keeps getting flagged for to take down. So I'm not going to take a risk. Dollars. That's not reasonable, even though he should be charging his, his day right. I'm a professional. Uh, this is a. Uh, uh, real now? This is probably... Oh, le falta acá arriba. Just kidding, I don't know what I'm talking about. How much is the real, Hedrick? Give me five bucks. Five bucks. This is good. Mm -hmm. in the boxes. This is a puzzle. I always just come to look at the same one. This phone remote. RCA Universal, nope. Nokia. Falcom. Firewater PCI. Radio Humber, I think it's uh, water. Humber survival, right? So this one should be say 25 bucks, 30 bucks. I like it. Why is RCA popping up right here? Remember OG RCA? Yeah, I lost my 10. I don't know what, where I should have lost it. The water drum. Like that polarized thing over there. Go check it out. It looks like dead. Anything else? How much do I want to pay for this? Seven bucks. Is the quanto, Sam? Ah, eso te la tengo en 10. 10. Unos 7 quieres? Unos 7 quieres? ¿Cuánto? 7. Dame. Yes. Are these? I want to say these are actually good. I know they look ugly. I'm going to look them up just for the sake of it. Cost. Tony Bennett. It's like an arresting, yeah. I got a list, like, I don't know, 50 items today. Because you're right about the listing habits of this week. It's been bad. We're going to have 19 
Never mind. Over here singing. Let's see what we find today. What is said? Smoke. Harry Potter. Little cute cat. Piece and piece of art. I'm gonna talk loud so that I can drown out some of the music with the editor later. So loud, loud, loud. What do we have here? Speakers, pebbles, JBL, but there's nothing in there. Oh no, there's a little thing. I think it's supposed to be two. I don't know if they link up, but we'll take them. See what we got here. Might as well, right? I think Xbox remote. I have a bunch without uh, the back ticket. Morning, guys. It's an awesome day here in Southern California, like always. But the flea market, I think I've gone down maybe two, three aisles. And so far, nothing great. Well, nothing good actually. <laughs> I picked up this uh, meat thermometer thing for two dollars. I'll show you right here my wagon. There, I probably get like ten bucks. And my buddy picked up these three walkie-talkies and this like Nike Fit Runner band, fuel band, for ten dollars. So he got a good deal on that. Um, but we'll see what else we find. I'll go ahead and uh, keep you guys with me as we look for some items. We're here walking around, see any electronics. Okay. Looking good, though. Pick up some of these little irons, curled, daring, straight wands. And this one has like a about bubble wand. About a uh, dollar each. A dollar each. One, two, three. Three dollars here. Looks kind of like this. So the black box and the two purple boxes here. And uh, maybe about 20 bucks for the whole little set like this. So three and two, about 20, and we're picking up uh, 33 to make it $100. So it should be, I think it should be a decent pickup. Uh, the minimum, maybe $10 times 33, so it's 300 bucks profit. So I'm okay with it. At the other stand, I also picked up these pots here some Belgium uh, cast iron things. Uh, I paid ten dollars for all of them. Nothing fancy. And each of them is maybe twelve to fifteen dollars. Um, times four, it's about fifty dollars. So ten to about fifty. They're small enough to be able to ship in a regional lay or a flat uh, padded uh, or a box, something like that. So I'm okay with it. So we'll keep going and see what we find. I used to get excited about all these dollar piles, but it's really hard to do that anymore. Some cool hats. I haven't had a lot of luck with them, though, so moving on. Little table here. This little robot I have for sale. Hmm, the warheads. Nothing fancy, maybe. Seven dollars each. Let's see what we've got. Weights, weights. I guess I could show you guys even if I don't pick anything up. So really pretty shelves back there. I like them. Nice desk. Somebody took the Charmander. All right, let me try to find something actually worth filming and uh, be back with you. On this street right here, really nice. Gonna grab some coffee right here at Condron Coffee. Condron Coffee. There's a little guy with a sword, so it must mean something like that. We'll check it out. Gonna need. Nice. 
I still got some packaging done though. It ended up being two items on the small account and 12 on the bigger account. So 14 items uh, from up until about 1 p.m. today, Thursday, and then all, all of yesterday, Wednesday. So about a day and a half or so. Uh, it was okay. I think uh, gross roughly about $700. So nothing to complain about. I got two international orders. Got to go drop these off, pick something up from UPS. Uh, go get some more money because... I haven't been buying a lot of, lots of Ape items, but I've been buying like expensive items. So I go pick up some cash, pick up some lunch, and then I got a lot of cool stuff uh, to do. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video to some degree. Uh, I hope to see you on the next one.